The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 22nd day of March, Friday, end of the week. And we're looking at these weekly charts. Very exciting. So let me just run through this. Uh, we're looking at the Dow down 55, uh, 65 right now at uh, 39,716 after making an all-time high yesterday. Calling this new leg C. And uh, it got into the Chevrolet propellant zone, held just higher high, higher lows and then all of a sudden just took off of course the fed helped it a lot and now we're having a little bit of a pullback it's gone into the chapel wave inside track repellent zone that's the same as the weekly chart leg c now what i discussed um, in quite a great detail over the last uh going from tuesday through to uh, yesterday i've been talking about the recycle and i need to talk about that in the sense that this weekly chart, the nine period moving, this green nine period moving average was hit just a couple of times since that breakout. That was the breakout in November, the week of the, actually, it was just before that. It was the week of the 10th of November where the pink nine period moving average got closer and closer and then. It flipped over, started on the 17th, week of the 17th of November, and then on the 24th of November, it was green. The price was way above the nine, never came back to touch it until uh, the last uh, couple of weeks where it's hit that line and it still sprung to the upside. And what I was discussing is that from the work that I was looking at in terms of the weekly chart, in terms of the nine period over the 14 period moving average, that there was now a chance that if we had a, a, a new all-time high this coming week, that was what I was talking about earlier in the week, that it would make a very quick leg C to the upside. And because of that, a technique that I call Chevron Weave Squash, you can see it in the weekly chart, the way I use the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, over the uh, slow stochastic. When the slow stochastic goes very quickly, together with the on-balance volume, makes a little V-shape low, which it did late October, and then crosses sharply from under 20% to over 20%, goes very quickly with price. You've got to have price movement pushing sharply higher. And then the stochastic goes over 80%. And then the MACD starts to widen the nine-period moving average it says you can have a very quick, uh, what I call a chamber squash, that it goes quickly to an A and then a B and then a C. Well, instead of doing that, it just had this constant A. And every time you would expect some kind of a pullback, it was no more than just a brief pullback. So I was asked the question, <clears throat> you, you, since January, we've been talking about a pullback. And all I can say is, look, um, I've spoken about this nine period moving average over the 14 period moving average just forever and how, how it can keep you in a trade much longer than you would ever expect. On the short term, though, look what happened. I had sell signals and we went, we, we kept core position longs in the Dow. But at the same time, we had trading short positions and they worked sideways. Now, I'm not the price. You're not the price. The price is the price. And you, all you can do is use all the technique you have to follow the price. Well, what happened is we even had some gains in each of the short positions we've had and then got taken out either for a very small gain or a very small loss. And then the price went higher. And that happened once. It happened twice at that peak E. Then at that peak D, this is over there at uh, – uh, the starting on the 12th of uh, February, and then again in the most recent one, which took quite a while. Actually, all of this is most of March. We're in a sideways trading band until we this big spike up on Wednesday. So um, all you can do is follow the, the 
using your the credentials of the instruments that you use, look, the MACD. Normally, the, you, if you you go through any book, just go through any chart book, or go go Google MACD, and the, the, they will tell you that when the MACD starts to fail, the price will fail. Well, that's what I used to think years ago, and then I found out, no, no, no. There are times where the MACD, because if you look visually, look at all these moves in the MACD, you'll see that it corresponds very well to the price movement. But every once in a while, there is a move down in the MACD, the moving average convergence di divergence, and the price just holds steady and actually moves in a in an exact opposite direction. It goes counterpoint. Well, that's something to recognize, and that's why I kept saying, my weekly charts are fantastic. The daily charts, we're trying to get short positions because I have people that want to trade. And all I can say is that you have to follow the price. And the price said, yes, there were consolidations. They should have been deeper. They weren't deeper. The price held. It held this fantastic indicator, the nine-period moving average. And that's it. So as far as that is concerned, I did what I normally do. It worked briefly. It was a trading position. And and now we're out of that. We've been out of that since Wednesday, out of any short position, just short-term trading positions. Each one of them had nice profits, and then they were taken out. And that's all you can do is you can say, hey, I'm doing what I'm, I'm supposed to do by following my technical indicators. Now, and of course, at the October low, I had said, and I, I consider it in, in a sense a mistake, because what I'd said, we're going to use Microsoft, that was like October the 31st or so, Microsoft as a benchmark for the Dow, the S&P, because it's in the S&P, the XLK, because it's in the S&P Select uh, tech sector fund, the um, AI, because it's in AI, so we use that as a benchmark, and it's been absolutely fantastic. It's uh, we in a 338, the core position. We've had trading positions since then, and it's trading right now at 428. So it's almost 100 points higher than our initial entry price. So I'm not complaining about that. What I am complaining about for myself is the day that I said, get Microsoft, it was just such an easy thing to say, hey, um, you have to go with the Dow as well, the diamonds. And we, we are along... Uh, positions from 2020, March and October of 2022. We have even have the um, UDOW told never to do that, but we still have that. That's a double from the UDOW from 2020 to October. You should never hold them for a long position. I wanted to do that because I thought as a trading, as a, it's called a very short term instrument, three times long. But if you get it right, almost at a low, you can just use the benefit of having that, and it's 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 kind of nice. It's kind of fun, right? The diamonds have done about a third, uh, a thirty-three percent gain or so, and the um, and the UDOW has done uh, uh, it's double. That's that's okay. <laughs> All right, so with that said, I just wanted to get that out the way. It was a question that came up. It's a question I always have, a question for. Now what we're looking at is Microsoft's leg team, maybe making a big key. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 101, SP's down. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So I got I got a lot of things that I want to go through. I've written it down. This time I'm going to stick to the rules that I made for myself by by looking down at my page that I spend uh, the evenings uh, and mornings uh, writing up. So, but I also have to look at the YouTube uh, t uh, uh, YouTube Tiger, and I have to look at uh, our Den. And it, some questions came up, and each one is absolutely relevant. Soundhound AI Inc. A shares voice and natural language recognition. Um, has an IPO back in 2022 and screams from round about the sixes to the 18s, and then it comes tumbling down to the ones and it goes peak A, peak B, peak C in the monthly chart right there, leg C, still leg C. And I can't even put in an up arrow. I should, but I can't because I haven't got enough uh, details here for um, a buy mode designation. And uh, But I will do that just because in chat wave, if you get to a C and the technicals are still pretty good, you have to do that. But the, the weekly chart has gone to a leg C. S O U N is a symbol trading up down for 47 cents at 621. It had a beautiful buy signal recently, and that was back in February at about 160 or so. And then it screams peak A, peak B, peak C, goes to a peak D, pulls back very sharply. But look at this beautiful indicator. Um, the 9 over the 14 says, no, I've still got strength. Don't don't think I'm going down in the peak D with a down arrow. There's, I, I don't deserve it yet. And then it screams up to a peak E. <clears throat> and that goes to $10.25 on the 14th of uh, March. And it's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, sessions, 6 sessions with lower, lower highs and low lows. And a gap down today. MACD's turned down. Relative strength, the gray line here on the daily chart has turned down. Stochastic's been weak. It tried to get to 80% at that peak E top <clears throat> and then failed. It was weaker than the previous highs. So the technicals are deteriorating. On balance volume is deteriorating. So, uh, question is uh, Zenbit says, Morning Basil, would love your thoughts on S O U N. Uh, looks like it is breaking down a bit. So I am inclined to uh, let it settle down before considering a buy. Thanks. Yes, I agree totally. 
And you can see that it's gone through the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart. Uh, the week is young. We've still got another four, five and a half hours or something like that. So anything can happen. It could close above 6.86. It's at 6.27 right now. So at this particular point, all I can say is I'm in total agreement with you. This is a stock that you've got to put on your list as a screamer. In other words, uh, it's in the single digits. That's my little, uh, uh, for my subscribers. I have a watch list and then I have a list on screamers. I just keep it for myself just to remind myself about these stocks. I, it's changed so much in the last a few weeks. It's just unbelievable how many times there's been a rotation through these small ones. Even now, I've got a screamer list, and let's just have a look at that. I just want to show you. I have no idea. I don't think I've seen this one before. Uh, usually, I recognize them because they always come back again. SOI, which is, oh, I've done this before. Uh, this is Solaris Oil Field Infrastructure. It's in leg C in the daily chart, uh, just pushing above the 200 period moving average. I can't tell you how many oil stocks and oil sector stocks in these screamer low, very low priced. Um, that doesn't make them cheap. It just means low priced category uh, stocks in this field that I've been looking at. It's quite amazing. I don't know what's going to happen to crude oil. But uh, yeah, crude oil looks exactly like this chart right here. Trading down just 43 cents at 80.64. All right, let's go back to the question was S-O-U-N. It's in the category of screamer list, low price has big moves up. So I just give this time. And what does it say? It says that the whole area between 580 and $5, I'd say 480, between 580 and 480, that's a whole point. That's a huge percentage. But that's the area that I'm looking at now to say, will it stop? Will that be the key metric that we're looking at? It finds stability where it was before. Um, in between the six dollars and really basically five dollar area, hmm. you got to. I'd hold off, but I like the fact. Oh, and then Duncan Stephen the Den says, "Sound yes." The one Nvidia invested in news a few months ago made it pop recently. I caught after that uh, news at three eighty one. They kept the mom momo. I bailed earlier at, as I at, at I think six forty five, and it went to eights. I have not watched since. Had only 200 shares. Yeah, it's not a matter of only whatever it is. It's the fact that you've got it on your list and you've actually used it and you've made money. I think that's the same thing now with Zen, but in the in the uh, YouTube, Tiger YouTube. So keep it on your list. It's a screamer, but you've got to time it right. And when it comes down, look at the big move from last year when it screamed from the ones to the uh, three dollars seventy-five, uh, three five dollars and eleven high, back in June of 2023, came all the way back. And it actually took out the left side low. So he does that. I'd have patience. And actually, I, it's more time. It will be price, but I think you have to include time now. So this is, I'm going to put it on my list. Um, and I'm going to put it on my list for, I'm, I'm turning pages. So I'm going to put it on my list for late next week and maybe even the week after. I'll put S-O-U-N at 6.17 waiting yes it is a it is a screamer exactly in the category that i like to look at all right enough with that now let's get back to oh and the next question was i missed it yes so um wyo in the den had vt vanguard world for some reason is agreeing with the other technical aspects that he's looking at uh with our es that's the e-mini uh that's the s p e mini um all time frames through day are looking at tops. Yeah. Okay. So let me show you something. So I followed this very closely for a long time. VT is the Vanguard total world stock ETF. I mean, more total than that you cannot get, right? Vanguard total world stock ETF makes a leg C in the monthly chart over the 109.30 high of November of 2021 comes tumbling down. I should put the price in after all. I talk about it, to 76.80 in October of 2022. So 76.80, 10, 2022. And it screams in leg C. Now in Chapway buy mode, this suggests that it should still go in 2024. This year doesn't give you the time. Other things give you the time. It still get, should get to... Um, a higher high in leg D. 
So you still have to wait for a month, a whole month at least, for a peak C, meaning the whole month goes by without a new um, recovery high, all-time high. <clears throat> so 109.30 down to 76, and then back to 100 and 110.20 or something like that. What was that? 110.68. And I've got this as a G slash C. Now, I cannot tell you how many times we've seen G slash Cs turn out to be Ds. So I'm expecting at least one new high in in that next week. Might not happen. I'm anticipating that that it could. Everything here suggests that it should try for one more high. Slightly, it doesn't have to go more than a penny above to make that leg D. If today is a peak G slash C, leg E in the monthly in the weekly chart, leg C in the monthly, looking out very strong, short term. Just looking to see if next week we have some kind of a, a digestive effect. So that's the VTs, the Vanguard Total World Stock Dow's down 120. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the Open and Call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil's old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of Basil's educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at DFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. So we're looking at the E-mini. Here's the one-minute chart. In the middle here is the five-minute chart. On the right is the ten-minute chart. Think of it as date, weekly, monthly. 
Uh, I like to look at time frames. It's really important because the larger tide here says there's a chance for an arch formation in the uh, in the 10-minute chart. That's your bigger tide. And the 200-period moving average of six, uh, 5299 is your resistance. It was support. Now it's resistance. Looking at the... Uh, Five minute chart, and that made a peak D. And remember the Chapman wave peak D or, or high, you start to uh, look for how does it turn down, and it did make a top right there. And you can see the nine period moving average cross negative, it's still negative. Um, this is the five minute chart, made a peak F, a little doji candle comes tumbling down and is making a much larger arch in this particular instance. You can even do, you know, everything's applicable. If you have a good technique, you should be able to apply any other technique to it. So I'll, I'll apply the uh, Fibonacci right there. And what does it say? It ran, it pulled back, and then it's had a rally all the way to about the 61.8 level, and now it's arching over. It's starting to fail. Same thing with the dreaded H pattern that's possible in from the daily to the weekly. I just got a little ring that says, ring the bell, and the bell says we've got Robert in Kansas City, GBTC. Yes, Robert, how are you? Uh, happy Friday, Basil. Thanks for taking my call. It's a pleasure and good to hear from you. Uh, what are we looking at, GBTC? Are you, do you have a position in it? No, so my, my, I don't currently have a position. My question is, where is the buy point for a long position? Um, do you think this, you know, it rallied a little bit uh, yesterday and it's backing off? Do you think it's just going to resume the decline? Or do you think this is a temporary pullback? Can you kind of do a your analysis? And when you, okay. look, can you look at like the, uh, I don't do intraday trading. I try to use like a daily chart. Good. Or so like a five-hour chart works too. Let me just do this. I want you to show a particular pattern. So I look at three okay. core patterns in the in the in any chart formation. It's a straight line up, straight line down. That's one. A cup formation, that's two. It could be a V, but it's basically going from one point down and then back to that point. How does it treat that point when it goes back is really important. Or the arch formation. That's where you go from one level all the way up and then you come back and you retest that level. It could be an arch or an inverted V. So the patterns are three patterns, straight line, cup or arch. However, when you put the two together, you can have a straight line down and then the arch formation. If it fails at a peak A or a B, that's the first peak or the second peak, and then takes out the left side low peak and it holds that lower position for two or three bars, that could be a one-to-one -one of the arch to the downside. And on the upside, if it breaks the cup formation, and takes out the left side high, the reverse Y, I, I show it as green. That's very important. So what do we see? We see a huge monthly chart, cup formation from the 58.22 high back in 2022, I believe it was. Uh, it comes really sharply down under 10, and then it screams where? It screams right back up, but it takes out the 58.22 high, and it goes to a little uh, right there to a new high of 65.61. I'm going to have to type that in now because it's becoming very important. 65, did I say 61? This is called a 61 for now. And then it comes down, and there's your straight line down. And then it makes a little peak A right here because today it's already down a little bit. But it's a gray A because the stochastic's weak, the MACD's weak, everything's weak, but the 9 is still holding nicely above they are gray the nine period moving edge is coming down but it's holding well so as i see it right now <clears throat> and i've been speaking about this uh, you might have heard me uh btc i've been talking about this for a little while now for about a week and a half saying i'm anticipating that there could be a pullback in bitcoin i'm just waiting for everything to come together and I said at 74,415 uh, in the continuous contract, the Bitcoin futures, which went just barely above the previous high of 30 uh, of 70,000. What was it? 70? Did it get to? Yeah, 73,790 back in uh, November of 2021, and pull back under 20,000. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a beautiful U-shaped formation. The very pattern we were talking about a moment ago. 
But the plumb line could not be made from the low that was made in November a year later in 2022 at 18,740. 18, I had to move it over. And I like to move it to the next candle of importance. And that took me to this month exactly where it said if I use the Chapman Wave inside wedge target repellent line, um, it should get to that, that the 70,000 level in the month of, and that's this month now of March. And it's just done that. But it's only a leg C. I could call it a leg E, uh, e, e slash C, because the initial starting point was way back at 12,280 in December of 2018. Um, we actually had that whole position for the GBTC and had a fabulous gains, and we just have barely touched it since. I let that go and when the GBTC was at 12. I spoke about it on air. I said, maybe this is the time to start getting in like we did before in the 12s. It actually went to the 8s and never did. Okay, so now we've, got, we've lost that opportunity. So I see Bitcoin as having the potential in 2024 to have a digestive phase, which I think it's undergoing right now. And then later in the year, there should be another move up to another all-time high. So that's the way I'm looking at it. Now, let's get back to where you are right now. So the question I had for you is, so did you have a position and you don't have a position now? Uh, what's, your, your, what's your actual stance? No, no, no position. I, ha I haven't had a position and I don't currently. I was just looking for the buy point and I was, I know that you look at um, these different metrics and I was wondering if you felt like if it uh, came down and, you know, with the, uh, uh, mid, you know, if it comes down slowly, um, would you expect it to kind of find a floor here? And then if it doesn't, back, don't don't take a position and wait for it to go to that kind of that next swing point of the 45 area? Yeah, so let's do this. So, Robert, I'm going to do something that I, I'm doing for myself because and for subscribers because I, I I missed it on the way up. Everything was there. There was no, I look, the green nine period moving average even the most recent rally from uh, 29th of January when it was trading at uh, 30, this is Bitcoin Investment Trust, GBTC, it was trading in the 37s. Uh, let's go to the high, 38.67. You could have grabbed it and just walked the nine period moving average. In fact, until this most recent turn down, it never even touched the green, uh, the black line. That's the 14 period moving average. So I have numbers that I'm going to give you. If you want to hold on, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued with this. So let me just do a little bit of work during the break. We'll be back with Robert, and we'll be looking at GBTC and Entry Point. I'll be right back. Dow's down 135. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, we're back. We're looking at GPTC and the question is, where would you consider starting a position? So number one is, when you had such a spectacular move, uh, going from basically the 34s, January this year to the 65s, uh, that is an incredible move. You'd expect some kind of a digestive phase. I've got the weekly. There was a Chapman Wave instant restart uh, right here in November, December. It went to a peak D December, the week of the 22nd. One week, a slightly lower high. The very next week, retests that previous peak D high and then screams up. To a higher high. So I've got basically, I, I should say, an alternate count, GSSC. For some reason, I have not wanted my, just based on my technique, I haven't yet wanted to even put a G alternate C. I do think that this is going to be a slightly deeper move than many people in the, uh, in the Bitcoin area think. And if you look at many of the others, for instance, coin, uh, coin went to a leg. F in the uh, so this could be an alternate count as well on the weekly. It's a D in the monthly. It's not anywhere as strong as the GBTC, and it just squeaked your peak F in the um, daily. And that is the there is still residual strength. So I'm going to say to you, it's it, GBTC. Let me go back to the GBTC. In terms of GBTC, in terms of the Bitcoin Investment Trust. If I'm correct in saying that this is a leg C, there should be a peak C. Maybe it's this coming month where it doesn't make a new uh, high above 65, 61. And then a leg D, that means that you don't have to expect a massive decline in Bitcoin, but you do expect some kind of a consolidation. So what I'm looking at here, I've got Fibonacci numbers here, but I, to me, it's, I've got other things that are even more important. For instance, the gap low of the 28th of February of 52.70, and the previous day, the gap, the high was 51.41. So I'm anticipating that if there is a close under 50, it's at 56.16 right now. If there is a close under uh, 54.30, so that's not really far. I mean, it's already today's down at dollar ninety six. If that close is uh, holes, and there is a bounce, and the bounce doesn't go above fifty eight sixty, but instead it actually goes lower than that, then I think you're going to look at that whole area of fifty two, the fifty two area, maybe even fifty, as really the area that you want to be considering is this where you start a position. I wouldn't do it right now because I think there's some risk involved based on this, the way the weekly chart has had these two big red candles. Um, so I just say, have to say, hold off. And, you know, what might happen, it happens with these very volatile areas that the pull pullback is like intraday. One day we're looking at it and it's down four points. And you say, oh, my God, this is the end of the world. And then by the end of the day, 
it's down 30 cents or maybe up 30 cents. And that's it's already done the whole the washout of the selling. So I'm just saying to you, you didn't get in up until now to be buying right now when it's close to all time highs at 65 was the highs and 50, 56. Yeah, it's nine points, but it's still closer to the highs. I'd rather wait. And I'm, I'm with you. I'm waiting as well. Let's look at it again maybe next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, if you can call or even just give me a text. Um, but I would I would say I have to wait. The, the technicals are still strong enough for me to say there's residual strength. How it handles yesterday's high in the next two sessions is going to be really important. And that's the high of 60.33. So I'm making this. If it does, if it goes to 60.50, I have to say, you know what? As a trading vehicle, you might have to just grab it, close your eyes, put in a stop, and see it go up. But I, I suspect from the way you, you would like to get in, you would like a kind of a buy and hold at least for a couple of weeks. Am I correct? That's that's correct, yes. Okay, so, so let's, let's wait together. <laughs> hey, well, again, happy Friday, and thank you for your thorough explanation. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for calling, and thank you for highlighting that for me. So, folks, let's just do this. What I want to do is I had a, another question. I think the question was one that I wrote down. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I want to go through. I, I was asked about DraftKings the other day. So DKNG. And I had that W formation, and I see there's a chance it could break out. And then I have to call that a leg C. Well, it's gone to a leg C, a possible peak C. I could give it an alternate count. I don't need that because the stochastic's at 85%. The on-balance volume's a little bit overbought, but good. The um, MACD is good. The relative strength is really strong. And the 9 pre moving average has gone above the 14. So the question was about the pattern that I was talking about, this W pattern. What I did not do, and I meant to do it. Where did I do it? I think I did it. Was it in Microsoft? I did it in Microsoft. So both both stocks, we are long, we're long from a while ago, so we've got you know good profits there. But I'm just talking about the chart now. I just for disclosure purpose, purposes, I want to do that. Let me get rid of this and I want to show you some of the techniques. This is Technical Friday. You see that there's a, a cup formation here in Microsoft. But I also and I forgot I had, I put this in in light gray because I didn't want it was so to look messy. But now let me just open this up. God, I forgot all about it. It would have helped me as well if I had seen it. Let's go to 16. There we go. So this says Chapman. I can't believe it. Chapman wave cup and ladle to leg D pattern. And I can't remember where I typed that in, but it was way back before we took out the 420.82 high. And what does this particular pattern say? It says that if from a previous peak D, E, or F, you pull back, not you, the price pulls back, starts what looks like it could be a buy signal, but doesn't really give anything, but it goes to a peak A and then a peak B underneath the previous high. If it takes out that B, it not only does it trigger a powerful move if it goes over the left side lip, but that has to be considered a peak C that will go to a D. Ah, ah. So that's exactly what happened. It went to a peak, and then the rule of thumb says that it should retest the left side lip, not go much under it. It won't look like a cup and handle because it's already gone much higher than that left side lip. And this is exactly what happened. So this move right here, if I was reading what I had put there and I made it bigger and I could see it, I should have said for subscribers, let's just grab this as a trading position. Um, if it moves higher, we'll just raise the stop because there should be a leg D. And it's already done that. So now let's go back to Dunk D. D this is Draft King. There it is, Draft King. And it had almost the same pattern, but I never did my homework on this one. But it's exactly the same thing. I should have said there's going to be a left side, right side price, potential price time match. And if that is the case, you can get a break that will take you above the 45.62 peak E high. And that'll be a leg C in the Chapman Wave cup and ladle. The whole thing about the beauty of the cup and ladle pattern is that it doesn't 
make the handle, it just goes straight out. It goes straight above and it goes to at least a D. Well, lo and behold, there we are. It's trading at 4776. Dow's down 165. SB's down nine. I'll be back and we'll talk about next week. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So, yeah, so here's uh, DraftKings uh, and is uh, trading at uh, 47.87. It looks like it might have made a peak C, and next week we should make a leg T. Now, this is going to be very, very important. Oh, let me just do this real quickly. XPEV. Ooh, if I can just get this done. Yeah, XPEV. So this is the Chapman falling X formation. Oh, I thought I'd more, spend more time on it. This is where you got the pattern that is upside down. This is the one right here. I, I took the chart and I just took it upside down. This is the falling axe when it goes up and makes lower highs and much lower lows. And then it makes it forms a little cup formation and takes it. And here we're moving it to an arch formation. So there's the falling axe. And this will be the arch if it, it does occur. Uh, it's starting to pull back very sharply. It had a really nice bounce. Now it's looking weak. Okay, so that's what we're putting in there. So let me just do this quickly. Um, INDU, this is the Dow. Oh, wrong chart. INDU, there it is. Uh, goes into the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It's down a little more than I would have anticipated. I did say to subscribers, be careful. I think we're going to be pulling back here, but we should still go to a D in the inside track. That'll take us to a D next week, maybe. Look at the S&P, SPX, making a leg D, making a peak D E right now. It could go a little bit higher in the inside track. The QQQ, same thing. 
And once again, I'll be considering, I'm not uh, afraid to do it, I'm considering that we could start some kind of a short position next week, trading just a trading position because those weekly charts are still really strong. So within, with that said, what we're really looking at here is um, all those components. I never even got to this today. Oh, I forgot. The dollar, look how nice that is. This is a Chapman Wave inside track, uh, sorry, the inside wedge resistance line. It's going to try for the 104s, but it's doing quite nicely here. It's not great, but it's doing well. And look at the comparable counterpoint. You're looking at the uh, gold down $9, and it's at a peak C. This one's struggling a little bit more. Um, oh, I got it. I'll probably tonight, if I can, do my uh, overview. The, the webinar is already on, on, the, on the front page, Tiger page, for my uh, subscribers. I'll do my overview tonight.